Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, even before I've actually made it to Chicago, even before I've actually made it to Star Wars Celebration, I am going to call Star Wars Celebration out because of some silly nonsense. So for those that do not know, Jeremy, who is a very, very, very generous guy over the Geeks and Gamers channel, uh, has really just been helping me out a lot for a lot of other things. But one of the things he's done for me this year is he actually got me my own ticket, my own pass to go to Star Wars Celebration. And it's again... Tremendous generosity from him. So again, Jeremy, thank you so much for that. But one of the things that I did was I signed up for the pass. I made sure that it was activated and everything like that. I put my email address attached to it and everything. And I noticed I was, you know, that we were gonna have to use an app. And so I tried to download the app, and the app just wasn't available. It just was not ready yet. And so I thought, well, okay, so maybe you know, you know, they'll email me. I signed up to get notified, you know, to no get notified on updates and things of that sort. Well, then all of a sudden I'm on a live stream the other day, and all of a sudden people say, oh, did you know that this is the last day for you to sign up for any panels, for you to be able to enter into any lotteries? I said I did not know that because I never received an email, I never received any notification whatsoever. And keep in mind that I registered my pass a good like two weeks ago, and so there was definitely a plenty of time for me to receive any type of email notification. So finally, I find out that the app is actually live, and then by the time I actually had time to be able to dive into the app everything was shut down i had no access to anything as far as the panels go all i could do was put things onto my schedule but as far as entering into a lottery or anything there's no standby nothing so basically it's left me in this position where i don't think i can actually go to any of the panels because based on what i've heard from previous people who've actually been there in previous times it's it's so crazy and so crowded that there used to be a case where you have to wait the night you know you basically had to wait hours and hours just to get into certain panels just to get into certain discussions and so i thought to myself okay so that's obviously going to suck but then this year, they're like, oh, we're going to do an app, we're going to do a lottery system, and it's just going to make things a lot easier. Not only is that just going to be cause chaos in the first place, because you're going to have a lot of people probably get double booked. I'm sure there was some glitch that probably happened along the way as well. But also, you have a situation with people like me, who have a five-day pass, even though I'm not going to be there for five days, still a five-day pass was paid for, and yet I have no access, direct access to any of the panels as a fan and that just, I think, is wrong. I think that's wrong because I know that this is obviously the first time they're doing this, and I'm sure there's some issues on their part as far as being able to notify people. But here I am about to go up to Star Wars Celebration, which one of the main things to do is not only to meet people and do the meet and greets and stuff, which I know that I, like anyone else, can do, but of course that's going to require a lot of waiting. That's going to require maybe possibly even me for to pay extra just to get a picture with some people. And it's one of those things where there's a couple people that I'm kind of like willing to do that with. For example, Alan Tudyk. I think, you know, I found out Alan Tudyk's going to be up there. That is like one person that I would love to meet. I'm a huge Firefly fan for those who've been watching my streams and my channel you know that i'm a huge firefly fan and his character wash is awesome in fact my dog willow's middle name yes it's right we gave our dogs middle names is wash willow wash is her name willow washburn named after of course one of the greatest pilots of all time in any sci-fi show so I know I'm going to be able to at least do that part, but I was also kind of excited to be able to go into certain panels. Like, for example, The Mandalorian. That's actually one of the few shows that's coming up, Star Wars related, that I'm actually kind of interested in, that I actually really want to know more about. And I know that I'm going to be able to, because I'm actually on this website right now, and apparently they're going to be live streaming a lot of these panels too. So I'm sure I'll have access. I'm sure they're probably going to have some, you know, TV set up in the celebration too, so that way we can watch it live on the actual big screen and not have to actually go on our phones or not be at celebration while it's all going on. But I really do think that it's just, you know, it's bad on their part. It's, it's really bad <laughs> bad form on their part and you know go, going back to my my love of the movie hook it's bad form because of the fact you have people and i'm sure there's other people like me who just weren't notified now now people can say oh if you really cared if you were really a fan you would have been following it you know you would have been on the website constantly and you would have been finding all of the things about when things were going to get released and you would have following all of this nonsense so that finally when it did go live you would have known about it right away yeah sure you're probably right but also i have a full-time job I've been dealing with a lot of stuff behind the scenes, which a lot of you guys know about. I've been so crazy busy dealing with actual real life stuff, I don't have the time to be able to spend to dedicate to trying to find out when a freaking app is gonna be available. That should be pretty easy stuff. It should be pretty easy that when you sign up for a system, when you sign up for this celebration, that if you sign up to get notified, it should notify you. Again, my email address was correct. I even double checked it on the day that, you know, the day after it was apparently closed and everything was fine on my end. Just apparently an email got lost along the way or it was never sent out in the first place. But anyone else going to Celebration have this similar experience or anyone ever been to a Comic-Con where maybe they've done some type of lottery system like this before? Have you ever had this issue where they said, oh, eventually there's going to be an app and eventually it's going to be live? 
and then not actually be able to get into any panels. So again, I don't really know what I'm able to do. Obviously, I'm still going to vlog. I'm still going to have fun. Obviously, the main reason I'm up there too is to meet you guys, to meet anyone that's going to be up there as far as subscribers will go, and also, of course, to meet Jeremy again, to meet the first time Nerdrotic, you know, uh, you know, Josiah Rises, uh, Jeff from World Class BSers, and the entire World Class BSers uh, crew, EVS, if he's still going. Apparently now there's some questions about whether EVS is actually going or not, but I'm very excited just to meet a lot of people. Again, you know, Anna and uh, Jesse Milestone and uh, Ivan Ortega and all the, the entire crew. You know, I know I'm missing out names here. John Talks, I think, is coming down. I'm going to keep on thinking of names probably as I keep the end of this video, but as I said before, I think that it's really bad form on their part to not go out of their way to try and make sure that this new thing that they're trying to do, again, this first time ever that they've done a lottery system, at least from what I've been hearing from people who've been to these things before. It's my first Comic-Con. Again, this is the first con I've ever been to before. I've never been to a conference. Again, I'm someone that suffers from social anxiety. And so me going to a place with a lot of people is already going to be you know, stressful enough. But now I'm going to be there not knowing where the hell to go, not knowing what the hell to do. And yes, I know I'm going to be hanging out with a bunch of cool people who are going to know these things and I'm going to be able to kind of like hang on to. But what if some of them actually were able to sign up for these panels and got in and I'm just there kind of in the cold? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, honestly, they're busy up there. I'm busy down here dealing with real world stuff. So I'm also not like that. That's not real world, but my own real world stuff. And so I know that eventually we're going to, you know, be able to come together and figure things out. But I'm just frustrated. I really am. I just think it's wrong on their part not to make sure all this stuff, you know, doesn't, you know, that this stuff does. I mean, at the very least say, oh, we hear a lot of people didn't get notified or, hey, you know, we're going to allow the lottery to be opened, you know, in infinitely or until the actual day that things start off. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, coming out of it from a long place. But I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Also, if you're still subscribed to the channel, thank you. I had a lot of people that did not like the comments I made yesterday about a certain president, and they didn't appreciate it. I thought to myself, like, seriously, if you came to this channel expecting me to talk nonstop politics, that's not what I do. I made a, you know, casual reference, and some people didn't like it and just said, oh, that's just, just not, that's not true. That's not accurate. I'm thinking to myself, dude, like, I've never said that I'm a pro or anti anybody. And uh, last time I checked, when has a president not ever put smarter people around them to make them look better? Like, seriously, think about it. Think about any person in any position of power. If you know what you're doing, that's what you do. Now, of course, everyone's going to say, oh, well, Kathy Kennedy's done a terrible job. Well, yes and no, because keep in mind, J.J. Abrams' first film, since episode 7, was actually not bad. Rogue One, even though I have issues with it, was mostly liked by a lot of people. So she made a couple of good decisions. She's made also a lot of terrible decisions, including Ryan Johnson, but that's pretty much everybody. No one's perfect. Everyone makes good decisions. Everyone makes bad decisions. One of them happens to be in a position that actually affects most people. Another one happens to be in a position where all it does is affect the movie franchise, which again is a movie franchise that I love, but I do think that there's also a huge difference between the two. So if you're still subscribed to the channel, thank you. And if you've left the channel and for some reason you're still watching this, seriously, like if that's going to make you leave the channel, then go ahead and leave the channel. If you just expect me to be a shill for any person or any political party or any president or anything like that, that's not what I am. That's not what I do. I speak things as I think they are to be. I speak and try and speak the truth as often as I can. I try and make good analogies, and sometimes they're going to fall flat. Sometimes you're not going to like it. And if I make one bad analogy that you just don't like, and that's enough for you to say, oh, rage quit, might want to think back into your own life for a second. But seriously, for those who are still around, thank you. Seriously, you're the ones that are awesome. You're the ones that I love. You're the ones that I, again, am facing my social anxiety just to go up to <laughs> Star Wars Celebration in the first place and also to be able to meet. And I cannot wait. So seriously, if you're going to Star Wars Celebration, please uh, contact me in some way or just let me know. Please let me know also who you are when I meet you because it's going to be crazy because I'm going to be meeting YouTubers. I'm going to be meeting you know YouTube subscribers. And I obviously have you know people who are going to know me from Geeks and Gamers. It's going to be people that know me from my channel and everything else in between so it's gonna be insane I'm excited I'm also worried I'm anxious but I think overall everything is gonna end up doing very well so guys thank you so much for you know, standing with me during this you know ramble that I've been going on today and also thank you for sticking with me if indeed you have stuck with me especially with YouTube's algorithm still sucking and of course with people just leaving the channel for you know I think a silly reason but thank you again for watching this video have a wonderful day check out my Amazon links if you shop on Amazon and you want to help the channel out Think about checking some of those things out. You might actually get some free audiobooks out of it too. Check the links out. Have a great day and as always, God bless.